Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for April 22nd through the 30th. This is for the end of April, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up for the, for the end of April. What do we have for Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know? I'm going to do a singles segment next. After this one is done, we get all 12 signs done. We're going to do it for singles. Um, but this will, this is for singles too. But I've been getting lots of requests for just singles. So, so I will do that. My next segment. i got to do maze still. So I'll fit it in. It's on the agenda. Um, temperance. The time is now. Or patience is needed. It could go either way. Divine timing. Healing. Compromising. Restoring balance and harmony in your life. Peace. Feeling at peace. Bringing peace back to your soul. Evolving. Whew, look at the people. Grieving. Oh, of course there's some sort of grieving here. This is grieving a loss. This is you. Seeing things differently, you probably have a new perspective here. This, if you're, you know, this could go either way. This could be you as well. Either one, all of this could be you, okay? Uh, or it could be somebody you're dealing with as well. You may be deciding, you know, to cut somebody out of your life. Maybe you're dealing with a person that is causing you grief in some way, and you're making some sort of decision to cut them out. That could certainly be the case. Or you're starting, you see, now you're looking up here at this other opportunity. So it looks to me like you guys are looking at a new opportunity. You may have been grieving over a loss, but now you see another opportunity. I, you know, I think you guys are seeing another opportunity for love. You think it's, you know, it's time for change. Wish fulfillment. There's, oh my God, wow, okay, you've got an opportunity for happiness here. I think there's one relationship that is coming to an end or has coming to an end and it's bringing you a new, happier one, something, it's a dream come true, Aquarius, you got a dream come true here, it's heaven sent, happily ever after is on the horizon, it's a blessing, you have a blessing coming in. Totally brought to you from above. I'm not kidding. Wishful something is coming to you, and it right in the middle. It's a blessing. It's a true blessing. Right now, a blessing is coming. You're the star. That you may have been hoping for this. You may have been hoping for this change, and here it is. You got extreme happiness coming in. After a completion, I think that you've done a lot of healing work. And perhaps now you're ready. You're ready to open your heart. You're ready to offer your love to somebody else. I think you're looking at new love here. I really do. Queen of Pentacles. If you've been single, if you've been single for a while, I don't expect you to be single much longer. I see a very self-sufficient, independent person who is doing quite well. They have built themselves up and they're seeing the opportunities. Okay. If this, if there could be somebody that is seeing you may be seeing another person's worth if it's you if it's you you may be looking at another person's uh what they have to offer you know the stability that they have to offer offer you could be looking at a person if it's not you that has their shit together and really has something to offer you um, there's definitely an opportunity for wish fulfillment. A decision is being made, has been made, or is being made to go after wish fulfillment. There's a new opportunity for love here. After a completion of a relationship that needed to be healed, you know, I think the relationship, I think that you've done a lot of healing work, and now somebody is, is opening their heart. Either you're receiving an offer of love or you're giving an offer of love. It is a complete dream. It is a dream come true. There's been some sort of non-action though. This is no action. You probably don't even have to take much action. This person may be taking the action. You could be dealing with a person that you've lost passion for or you were or you've given up on somebody. This is no action being taken. 
taking care of business on my own. I'm not going to go out and chase it. It's going to come after me. And it's coming. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Either this is you or it's the person you're dealing with. It's like this isn't no fast moving thing. This is very, very... Uh, Whatever is coming into your life, it's something that is practical. It's something that you can keep. It's something solid. It's something that has been well planned out. Somebody has made a decision to move forward, and it hasn't been an impulsive decision, okay? It hasn't been. This has been a well thought out plan, okay? So somebody has, has, has made a very wise, wise decision here. And because they didn't act impulsively, they, they thought about it. They, they <laughs> we have a very practical individual here. Very practical, very wise, very logical. I mean, this is, I can't, whoever this reading is for, we got a person here that, has a lot of common sense highly respectable <laughs> I mean whoever this person is who whether it's you or the person that I think it's you I really do I think that well or you're or, <laughs> it could be either way I think it is you this is you you are going to be receiving wish fulfillment for all the hard work that you have done for the, for the for for being the person that you are for the wisdom you know for the your ability to persevere and the, your strength to overcome and your wisdom is really playing a part here i i really feel like we have somebody here that has passed some sort of test they have made a very logical decision They've made a decision. The decision has been made that there's a new opportunity here for happiness. So I feel like you guys are going to receive some sort of wish fulfillment. I think it's an offer of love. Whether you're offering the love or somebody's offering it to you, there's something very beautiful here. It's a beautiful opportunity to come together in a happy relationship. dream come true I think that you guys have really persevered you've restrained yourself from a situation I I think that you guys are facing your fears you've gained a lot of wisdom and strength through some sort of situation I think you're ready to open up I think you're ready to let go of something that doesn't serve you you probably have a new suitor somebody that's much better suited for you and I think you're excited about it I think there's going to be some communication that goes back and forth between two people that will probably lead you right down a new path. And it looks really good to me. I think that you may have been in a situation where there was no relationship growth. Maybe there was no love and you may have been stuck there. And, you know, you had to figure out how you were going to become independent or something like that. Or you had to bring get a hold of some money or work on yourself to or come up with a plan to break free and I feel like now you're not going to waste any more time. I feel like you've had your expectations dashed in one situation and and you may have lost your focus for a minute, but not very long because I feel like your waiting period is over. I really do. I feel like I do. I feel like your waiting period is over. I think that you see another opportunity for love with somebody that is much better suited for you. I think that you have a, an attraction with another person that is undeniable. And, you know, you're probably, you've been clinging to the memories of the past. You may have been clinging to those memories of the past, but I think you're ready to let them go and open up. You're ready to let go of that past relationship. It's like the time is now to open up. And go after your new legacy, your your new abundance. You got this newfound abundance here. It's like this this relationship that for, of the past is over. It's done, and I think that you 
you you've restrained yourself for a long time wanting to make sure that you were being practical wanting to make sure that you were making the wisest decision and i think you have made the wisest decision and now you're seeing that that you have this better opportunity and you may have been distracted for a minute by you know your planning period which was needed right you needed to plan you needed to be practical you needed to have the make the right moves and I think that you have and I see a completion of a cycle here that does have to do with your past completion completion past a completion of a past relationship that leads you towards a happy peaceful blessing you definitely have a blessing coming in and it's because of your wisdom I see a lot of wisdom here a lot of perseverance and restraining yourself from acting impulsively. You've really come up with a solid plan by the looks of things. And I think that you, you know, somebody could be coming into your life. It may have been a slow moving process. Maybe you, maybe you made it slow. Maybe you made the choice to take it slow. And I think that was the most practical approach. I think that you've, you've really done the right thing, whatever it is. I think that you have dealt with a lose-lose situation. And I think you're ready to sever ties with somebody be, or something because you have an opportunity for happy, happiness, maybe even happily ever after with, with somebody that is very, very, very well suited for you. Okay? I think that there's an exciting new opportunity. You could be receiving an invitation or extending an invitation for somebody to come to your home or something like that. Um... They may be inviting you over to their home. I don't know. But there's there's definitely some a deep attraction here. There's definitely been some obstacles in the way. I think there's been some mental struggle over, you know, stepping outside of your comfort zone, breaking free from a troublesome situation in which you probably, you know, were brought down to your knees. I think that you probably dealt with a person or an individual or a situation that just about broke you. But I think that you've risen back up. I really do. I, I do. I do. I think that you have taken action to bring success to your life. And I see you being this magician. Really finding those resources to persevere and prevail over a, or a tricky situation. It's like you've taken the power back in your own hands. I think you've manifested a new opportunity. And it's going to be successful. You know, I do. I think that you have a new successful opportunity for here for uh, probably a new relationship with somebody that is really well suited for you. I think that you've passed some sort of test about, you know, not jumping into things. I don't think that you're, you, you're really a self-sufficient, independent, um, logical, practical, responsible person. And that is clear, very clear. I feel like there's been a lack of communication or there's been a there's been a lack of truth. Okay, somebody probably you may have been in a relationship where there was dishonesty. And you're just like, you know what? I'm not going to grieve over this anymore. I can take care of myself and I see that there's a bigger better opportunity. For so I think you are probably headed towards a relationship or a partnership where there's equal give and take, reciprocation. I think that you you are probably going after what you deserve because where you're at, there's no victory and success and you know that there's no progress being made. I think that you're taking the power back in your own hands and you're heading into a relationship that's going to be more stable, happy, and peaceful than where you've been. So I feel like... You know, you have manifested an opportunity that is a complete blessing from above, okay? And the time is now. I think your patience and your perseverance has paid off. I think you're letting go of a relationship that has probably stolen your energy. I think you held on to it for as long as you could. I think that, you know, there's a lot of memories with whoever this person was in your past, but I see it being released. If this isn't you, it's the person you're dealing with. Somebody has held on to the memories of the past, and I think they're letting it go because there's an opportunity for happily ever after here, and that is no joke. And I see one relationship or coming to a complete halt, coming to an end, okay, this is completion, it's the end of mental turmoil, it's the end of struggle, because happiness is coming back, a total, total, total wish fulfillment here, okay, um, it really is a blessing, you guys are receiving a blessing for your strength, for your, 
for your courage, for your confidence, for your willpower, for your ability to restrain yourself, for for everything, for who you are. I mean, I just can't even get over it. Um, there's a new opportunity for love here. There is, and I think that you're probably going to take it. So, congratulations. I think whoever you're dealing with... When you, when you make this move, which you probably are making the move, is going to reciprocate. They're going to give you what you deserve. It's going to be, you know, an equal relationship, not one-sided. I think you're in a one-sided situation where there's probably some lies, some deception, okay? And I feel like you're sick of grieving over this loss, and you see. You see the new opportunity for love. So I think that, you know, I see a new opportunity for love here that could lead to... <laughs> Wish fulfillment, okay, with that star right in the middle. A dream come true for you. Deception, that's where you've been. That is where you've been. See, it's over here with the Six of Cups reversed. You, you know, there's been some deception. I think somebody's been living a lie. And it's like, not anymore. Not anymore. I'm letting go of this relationship that was a lie or it's no more or whatever. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. And on the bottom of the deck, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And that's what I see happening here. I see you, you know what? I see an opportunity for love and I'm taking it. So if you are single, be prepared. Somebody may be coming in with an offer of love for you. And, you know, and maybe this person has just broken free. Okay. Or they've broken or they finally come to the conclusion that the time is now. I see they've been watching you or whatnot, or you've been watching them. I do feel like this is somebody, you know, and there's been some sort of attraction. There has been an attraction here. And I think it now is the time. Now is the time to come together with this person, whoever it is. We're going to get you one of these. We do have all the signs here, so I'm not even going to bother to name them. They're all here. We have water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Every sign is here. Either way, you got somebody that's better suited for you, or they do, whatever the case is. There's somebody here that is very well suited for you after a completion of a relationship that is no longer practical emotionally fulfilling it's like it's time for a change somebody has evolved they've changed and now it's time to come together with whoever this exciting new suitor is this person is probably a little bit younger than you or maybe even a quite a bit younger than you But there's love and there's attraction. Child. You care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love. And you do require love. And I think that's what you're doing. You're going after love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection, and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule to so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you, especially your own inner child. So I feel like that's what we got going on here. There's a new opportunity for love. After letting go of a situation that was probably deceptive, after living some sort of lie, perhaps, whether it was you or the other person, and starting a new relationship, discussing your feelings, you know, I, I do see a new relationship starting. Okay, there's no doubt. Okay, and with the star card in the middle, which that's you, you know, this is a new emotional, happy, comfortable, secure, stable, long-term relationship coming into your life. But I have to tell you, this is with a new suitor. It is. Because this is letting go of the past. This is a transition. It's a transformation. It's a transition from one, one thing to another. You are transitioning from one relationship to another. That's what I see. So that's what I got, Aquarius. Congratulations. You got love here. I think you know it, and I think you're making a decision to take care of you. Good luck. <laughs>